Howdy everybody, welcome back to Random Things, I'm James. Today we're going to do a mini toy review on some activity tins I found at my local Dollar Tree. Okay, so what are we looking at today? Well, I'm going to be out the other day looking for some Final Fashion stuff at my local Dollar Tree. And my wife found these kind of cute looking little activity tins. Thought I'd, you know, do a little different give a quick look at them so what are we looking at well these seem to be little kind of licensed little activity tins some of them have looks like coloring stuff some of them have stickers some of them have magnets so i picked up three i got the of course the jurassic world one the spider-man one and the one with ariel and jasmine um, seems to be like two coloring ones two magnet ones and two sticker ones so i need, need to get all six but let's take a look at the three I got and let me have kind of thoughts on them. First up, we've been looking at this Disney Princess one. As you can see, it says it comes with one scene and two magnet sheets over 15 magics or magnets. And it's a, um, I guess, a magnet take on the old like paper dress up dolls where they give you a bunch of magnets and you can kind of switch them and swap them. To change into I guess different clothes if you want I remember my sister I liking these as a kid um, let's see what they actually get now as you can see it comes with basically two dresses for both Jasmine and Ariel now you notice here I don't have 15 magnets on screen that is because some of those magnets are really small like shoes and tiaras I think a few necklaces and they are absolutely tiny as a matter of fact half the shoes i destroyed trying to get them out of off the, like the magnetic sheet that it came with they're really small really pain um unfortunately i didn't scan them before i took it off so i can't show you them but as far as the 15 magnets you get a lot of those are just epically tiny 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 like not even like the width of a freaking dime type tiny really small gonna get lost um, another thing about it too is that the scene card with the Jasmine and Ariel is just paper. So you literally got to put it on the tin and then put the magnets on top of it. Um, the magnets themselves aren't s very strong, but they do stick. And if you have the patience to actually get all the, the um, accessories out carefully, yeah, it's a cute little thing. It serves its purpose. You can dress them both up. Um, the poses are just about the same so you can kind of swap them it's a little bit off but i don't think a kid's gonna mind all in all it says what it does it does technically come with as many as it says it does even though they're a little pain so all in all thumbs up next up we got one from i guess disney juniors um spidey and amazing friends i think it's a show i've looks familiar but I've never seen it um, it's another magnet one it comes with a scene and a bunch of magnets um, got magnets of Peter Miles and Gwen and there's one in there Black Panther um, these are actually I like these a lot better than another one they're actually much bigger magnets um, it's very silly uh, magnets were very easy to get out um, just like the first one um, the sheet itself is just cardboard so you got to stick it to the tin and then put the stickers on top of it the stickers magnets on top of it um, magnets are kind of medium strength you shake it a good and they're gonna pop off but they stick and they're good for playing overall just like the first one um, it does do what it says it does it's cute and it's cheap and overall you know, I give this one a thumbs up too lastly we have the Jurassic World one which does not, not have magnets it is a sticker and coloring activity thing um, it comes with three markers, a green one, a brown one, and a blue one. It also has this really long, um, I guess, sheet for coloring on. It has your pretty standard coloring book stuff, color the scene, color background. Like one activity is which, which logo is different. Um, um, pretty good paper. The markers worked well on it. I didn't have any issues with that. Um, it also does come with a sticker sheet with some actually pretty very nice looking Jurassic World stickers um, personally like this one better than the other two but then if you guys know my channel you guys know why um, 
I do think this one was probably the most um, say fun. Um, it takes more time. You actually need to sit down and color. My only complaint would be that the three colors of um, markers, not the greatest selection. You know, you see you got land, jungle village, and you know, like the way all the signs are brown or something. Not a lot of variety there, but all in all, like the other ones, it does what it says. And, um, you know, it comes with everything it says it comes with. I still think it's enjoyable. I think kids would still enjoy it. Okay, overall final thoughts. I mean, they do what they say to do on the tin. The tins themselves are I mean, nice little cool tins. They're self-contained. I think it's a fun little activity. Um, not like an oh my gosh, go out and get it now, but like a stocking stuffer, a basket stuffer. If your kid is a fan of one of these franchises, I think this might be a good little toy. Um, but don't expect it to be like a play with every day, keep them entertained forever. I mean, it is only like a dollar twenty-five. It'll keep them entertained for a little bit. I think the coloring ones a lot bit more than the um, the magnet ones. Um, but overall, I do think they're you know pretty cool. Um, you know, if you got kids who love it. I think you should get it, check it out. There was three others I didn't get. Um, I'm going to get them. But overall, this is my review of these little cheap little toys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you so much for being with me today. Hope you guys have a good one. And I will hope I, to catch you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one.